What drives me is the ability to harness data and insights and be able to support enterprise consumers, but also what I believe is you know, ultimately impacting you know, the, the global population. Over the last 10 years, I've had some really varied experiences. I've had the opportunity to work with the largest democracy in providing you know, information to the civilian population on their access to legal rights, to working with some of the leading you know, healthcare and digital workers on understanding how you can you know, provide intervention and better healthcare regimen across you know, borders. I think I have a fairly unique background on how you know, I kind of came about uh, AI and machine learning. I think you know, when I started out of college in 2000, I was looking to really get involved in the intersection of financial services and technology. You know, I found myself uh, you know, taking on fairly like, technical roles, but then transitioning into working at some of the world's largest like, information media companies. So, you know, I look at that period as really kind of understanding how structured data can be used, whether it's to improve, you know, bankers on how they do deals or, you know, healthcare, pharma researchers or, you know, lawyers trying to find, like, new information. And it went from there to, you know, when I joined IBM uh, in 2013 and was part of the Watson team to really get a full appreciation of the, you know, art of the possible with uh, artificial intelligence. And I think that's where a lot of the current kind of you know, involvement with machine learning started and really starting to think of this as something that you can deploy in an enterprise organization um, and not just you know, relying on like, research which needs months and years to be able to execute. So for me, it's always been about how do you get technology in a way where people can consume it and interact, I think. We all are very accustomed to how we engage with our mobile devices in a way where, you know, if you look at the progression over the last decade or so, it has become more of an assistant rather than uh, a phone uh, device. But, uh, you know, for me, I think it's just been a journey in terms of looking at new data sets um, and also looking, I think, uh, the wider ecosystem. Um, I've had the opportunity to work in the U.S. and in, um, you know, globally and what I find is the innovation curve sometimes you know, surprises you in terms of how people are really looking at machine learning in areas and ways which you would not normally think about, whether it's in you know, the private sector or like governments kind of doing more to assist like, civ civilian populations. Some of the work that I've done in this space has you know, ranged from helping disruptive digital health companies figuring out how they can improve access to healthcare by improving transparency and also providing behavioral nudges which are based on a host of you know, individual personalized like data observations. Some of the enterprise solutions that I've been working on are you know, helping clients in the FSI industry, for example, figure out how they can do underwriting. This is a very you know, manual process. How do you use data to not only operationalize and improve the automation through it, but also do certain things which in the past would require medical exams. So in short, what I really enjoy doing is you know, figuring out new ways to utilize data to make our lives easier.